tall, and they oftentimes get hit by shorter fighters who know how to punch up. Acosta, he's a steady fighter. He's He likes to apply pressure. He can also box. It's going to be very interesting to see this fight start to unfold Ooh. as the rounds progress. That's a big left hook from Nakatani. No it, relation to Masayoshi Nakatani, who we've seen fight against Vasily Lomachenko recently. Yep, Nakatani threw out that bait. That's that lead hand he has there. Mm. Right. Once again, did it again. He drawed That's in. Cool. Okay, box. Acosta, Acosta, excuse me, drawed him in and made him pay with the left hand. And don't grab. Box. Is that stick? Yeah, keeping him occupied, keeping him looking at that hand, and then he boom it, explodes with the backhand. That's the hand that he really wants to land, Nakatani, the left hand. We heard of a lot of southpaws that were converted to right-handed fighters, while Nakatani is the opposite. He's a natural right-hander who was switched southpaw. That left is vicious, and so is his jab as he goes to the body with that left hook. I can tell you this, it's not time for a Acosta to start getting in a firefight with Nakatani because he needs to play a little defense, I, I would say. Nakatani has his timing down already. Boom. Oh, there's and a right the hand distance. that wobbles him. He landed it right on the temple. Nakatani digging to the body here, and this is a distance that really favors Acosta, but only because Nakatani had him hurt. Oh, and he's really in front of those. Listen, listen, box. If I'm a Costa right now, I'm paying attention to my defense. I'm not worried about getting any offense right now. Mm, what a body shot that Nakatani is ripping here in round number one. Stop! Miguel Cotto, who is the promoter of Angel Tito Acosta, the former four division champion. Obviously, you see the concern on his face after seeing what Nakatani was able to do against Acosta. Hey, the money shot for Nakatani is not the right jab. It's the, that sets up the money shot, which is the straight left or the overhand left like we see right there that didn't land clean or as clean as Nakatani, I'm sure, wanted to, but it landed clean enough to get Acosta's attention and to let him know that I'm not just a quick fighter, not just a skillful fighter, but I can hurt you, and I can hurt you early in this fight. Bernardo, I love the change in speed of, a, of Nakatani. How he's, you know, palm with the jab, palm with the jab, and then he explodes with that backhand. Closing the gap quickly on a coaster. Not a single ticket available for sale here. Even the berm, that Step grass back. area on the top Step of this back. amphitheater was sold out because people want to see Oscar Valdez against Robson Conceição. But the reality is, this may be the fight of the night. Nakatani is not necessarily a fast fighter. He's a quick fighter. And Acosta has to find a way to get inside and, and punch in between Nakatani's quicker shots because he can't meet him, meet him speed for speed or punch for punch. That's got to be worrisome for Acosta. The amount of blood flowing from his nose here from the end of round number one. The heat, it's going to be hard to breathe. And it's a target for Nakatani to go after. As he lands, Acosta right has to, yeah, he has to try to weather that storm. You don't know how bad that Step nose back. is, but you're right. It's a lot of blood early in this fight, especially after the round just started. His team had 60 seconds to stop that blood, so you wonder how bad that nose when is break, and if it's broken. You break, quiero que se parense. You too. Listen, box. But he can't focus on it. He's got to fight through. 
It's just dripping blood. It's profuse, and it's the blood that's coming out, but it's also the blood that Acosta's swallowing here in the heat in Tucson, Arizona. That's worrisome. And the punches from Junto Nakatani as Acosta fires back. Break! Step back! Nakatani's got to settle down and try to get the right shot in there. I think the doctor's going to check out the nose of Angel Tito Acosta here. It might be broken. It's a possibility. That's a lot of blood. Dr. Adalberto Renteria. It's broken. It's bleeding a lot. How do you feel? Good. He's got a vein inside that, that catches. It's not stopping. Unless they can stop it, it's not going to stop. Let see if this running it comes. You want to give him a minute to see if they can put some pressure or do something to it? Otherwise, he's going to be bleeding like this. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's just, it's, just, it's just coming out. I want to keep running. The problem is it's not, the bleeding is not stopping. You want to give his corner a shot at it? No, no, we can't give him a shot during the round, so we have to continue the round. If we can, if it doesn't stop, we have no choice but to stop the fight. If they can stop it, in between rounds. If they keep bleeding, we're going to stop the fight. What? Don't let him hit you on the nose because it's not stopping. It's a broken nose. I mean, what do you mean if it continues to bleed, you're going to stop the match? I mean, it's going to continue to bleed. It's a broken nose. It's part of the game. You got to allow the corner to be able to work it. That's what the doctor was saying. He was asking if they can get, get the time. Rocky Burke rightfully said, hey, we're in the middle of the round. Until the round is over, then they get a shot at it. But if not, they can't stop it. And we're going to see a firefight here from Acosta because he senses this urgency, Dre. Yeah, he's doing the right thing. He knows he doesn't have much time if that blood continues, which it looks like it will. So try to get a shot in there, and hopefully you can land something big. Acosta's face is a bloody mess here in round number two, and he wants to fight. He's fighting for his father-in-law who passed away from COVID and his wife who's watching him. And he's a fighter herself. And this is what Acosta has to do, stay in this fight and not allow the referee to stop it. It's not a reason to stop a fight. It's not. I don't know what kind of rules they got, but it's not a reason oh! to stop a fight. Big left hook there from Acosta as Nakatani also fires back. That's what he needed, Bernardo. That shot right there. Oscar Garcia is the cut man for Angel Tito Acosta. So all Diaz in there putting in the work. If you can't stop it, we're going to have to stop I got you, I got you. Just pin up, just pin up, just pin up. Take a deep breath, come on. I got you. We got it, we got it, we got it. Hey, no lastimate. And you heard him. Hey, no lastimado, wey. No bate la pinche derecha, amigo. Come on, you got to be able to land your right hand. Take a deep breath. Here, watch his mouthpiece. How do you feel? I feel good. You gotta knock him out with that right hand. Come on. That's the right hand against his counter left. Come on, you gotta counter him. How are you? I'm good. Yes, I'm good. Give me the mouthpiece. Joe Diaz is working that corner, man. He is working that corner. He not only has to get the instructions, he has to stop the bleeding as well. I mean, he's the cut man and he's the in his corner guy. He's giving him instructions, the coach. I mean, it's still trickling down, but the problem is the first time he gets touched, it's going to start flowing once again. It's just natural, but the warrior, Tim Bradley, says there's no reason to stop this fight. But Rocky Burke is the man who can make that decision, unfortunately. Of course, I have to 
stay in this fight every second so he doesn't Burke, give Rocky back. Burke the chance to stop this fight. Don't, well, that's don't how he's got to do it. He's got to stay close to minimize the clean no shots he gets hit with. And that's also where he needs to be anyway if he's going to beat Nakatani. is mid-range and in close where he can, again, mitigate the offense of Nakatani Burke, and get his short, clean shots in on the inside. There's a left hook once again from Junto Nakatani. Nakatani, kind of like Pacquiao, he likes to get momentum with that left hand and barrel in with it. And I think that may have been the shot that opened up the nose of Acosta. Acosta, excuse me. And he's got to he's got to stay away. If you're going to be outside, do what he's doing right now. Stay all the way outside. If not, you got to be inside to protect that nose and to give yourself the best shot to land some punches. And Jay, the best punch that I like from, Nakat from Nakatani is, is the jab. You know, he shoots it. It has power on it. Something He leaves it out there just a second longer than what I'm used to seeing guys do. Just to keep Acosta at range so that way he can land his right hand. Nakatani doesn't know what to do when Acosta charges him and smothers him like that. You can tell he's very, very uncomfortable. This fight is going to be stopped by Rocky Burke because there's no way they're going to stop the bleeding, even though Acosta wants to continue. The question medically here is how much blood can he lose before it's detrimental? Don't breathe through your blood, through your, your mouth. mouth. You have to breathe, breathe through your nose. I'm not sure this is an experienced uh, doctor, man. He's giving instructions and saying things that are not according to the rules. You know, I'll tell you what he's worried about. The doctor's worried about the blood going down in his throat and choking. That's what the doctor's worried about. And that was one of the questions. How much blood is detrimental to his health? How much can he swallow? There's that body shot from Acosta. He wants to fight. He's Step got a warrior spirit. Step back. I think if it starts to affect his performance and you see he's not taking shots well, then you got to make a move. I think Acosta's fine right now. Yeah, but he got rocked there with a the body shot from Nakatani. And a beautiful uppercut as well as Acosta leaned forward. Now the oh. nose is bleeding again. Yeah, Tim's looking to protect his brand new polo that ESPN gave him because the blood is all over the place. I didn't want that blood on me, man. That's the, your too shirt's, close to this, Your man. shirt's looking like Nakatani's <laughs> trunks, and it's all Acosta's blood as he lands that left hook once again. Good shot. Signature shot from Nakatani. Good left hook from Acosta. Yeah, and Acosta don't have any answers. He's not picking up that. He's not picking up his right hand. Oh, nice body shot from Nakatani here in round three. Break. Step back. Separated. Round three comes to a close, and once again, the concern Time. has got to be for timeout. Acosta as Rocky no Burke, the referee, okay. calls timeout here. I know, I know you check can't the breathe. They want the doctor to check him out. Doctor. The face of Acosta says it all. Acosta asking for one more round. It starts back up. We're going to have to stop, gonna stop it, okay? Because he's lost a lot of blood over here, okay? And there you get the answer to the question from the doctor. He's lost a lot of blood. If it starts bleeding at that rate again, we're going to have to stop it. And you can see why at this point, with as much blood has been lost on this brand new mat here in 
Tucson, Arizona, promoting Fury Wilder 3. They're going to need a new one for next week. Man, listen, Nakatani is a bad boy. He is. He knows how to maintain range, his distance, Stop. throws combinations. It's over. Starting with a jab. Yep, it is over. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that. I've seen guys worse. Uh, fought through broken noses, broken ribs, hands, et cetera, et cetera. But like I told you guys, I, I think it's the, re the reason is there's a lot of blood, Bernardo, and the doctor's worried about it going back in his throat and choking. That's what he's worried about. Listen, I, I'm all for fighter safety. You definitely got to keep an eye on something like that. But I think Acosta should have been able to fight on. This is professional prize fighting. It's a brutal sport. We've seen way worse in the sport. I would be the first to say it, but if a referee needs to stop a fight. But in this case, I think it's something you manage. You don't overreact. Yes, it's going to bleed. It's probably fractured or broken. Let him fight it out until you see for sure that, hey, this is affecting his performance. He can't breathe. He hasn't shown us that. This is all hypothetical stuff we're talking about. I wish he could have fought on a little bit longer. Yeah, man, who did fight on through terrible cuts, nose bleeds, all kinds of stuff with Miguel Cotto, the former four-division world champion out of Puerto Rico and the promoter of Angel Tito Acosta. And here you see the face of victory, Junto Nakatani, who is going to have to buy new, new trunks because <laughs> it's all Acosta's blood. And oh, I might man. take them to the cleaners in there, Frank. I don't know. <laughs> that's exactly what I would do. <laughs> but that's a smile of a man who came to defend his first world title victory after winning it against Jemiel Magrano in Tokyo in November 2020. What a good U.S. debut for Nakatani in a brilliant performance. Yeah, I was really impressed with Nakatani tonight, you know, starting with that lead hand. Beautiful jab to set up his power shots, you know, and he showed tonight that he also can take it. He can dish it and he can take it. And that's very important, being a champion moving forward. You know, tonight, Costa, I mean, he did what he can do. He got his nose broken early. The referee and the doctor felt that it was bleeding too, too much, and they stopped the match. I thought it would stop a little bit too prematurely. Uh, they, they looked at it a little bit too much in my liking, but hey, they're in this position for a reason. They know better than I do. I'm not a doctor, so you got to take their word on it. I respect it. Yeah, I respect Acosta. He never looked for a way out. He continued to say, you know, Unamas, he wanted to keep pressing it and, and buy himself some time. He landed some good shots. And I like Nakatani. I like his frame. I like his ability. But they've got to go back and work on some things because the more exposure he gets here in the U.S., his opponents are watching these fights, too. And when he gets pressed, he's very nervous. He doesn't know how to respond. Inside, he struggles a little bit, and he can't get sh hit, sh hit with shots from the outside. So good pedigree, but he's got to keep working. And the reason that Dr. Alberto Renteria said he stopped this fight is he said, look, you can lose about one-fifth of the blood in your body, but when you're this small and your blood is pumping so fast, you lose more faster. And that was a big concern. Acosta could have started getting faint. It could have got ugly, and so they did the they did the right thing by stopping it before it was too late. Let's send it up to Mark Chinook for the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside the ABA Amphitheater at Casino Del Sol, referee Rocky Burke and ringside physicians call a halt to this bout at 32 seconds of round number four due to excessive bleeding. Declaring your winner by technical knockout. And still, WBO flyweight champion of the world. Junto Nakatani! Big win for Junto.